What's up, YouTube? Cod for Man 220 here, and welcome back to another part of the Russian campaign from Medieval 2 Total War. We declared war on Poland last time. And frankly, there's only one unit there. An honor to serve, okay, I'm waiting to uh, get my equipment because I would be just. Us, we march to battle. Are you done? Okay. Uh... Sieging <laughs> army at your command. <laughs> wow, that guy is just. Anyway, who's. Venice. Trying to trade my stuff. Not cool. I need to raise like a second army, but I think I'm waiting for the, uh, the leather tanner to be completed. Because I want this army, right? I want this army to take Vilnius. I actually read about, uh, I read this book called Bloodlands by Timothy Schneider, and he was talking about, um, it's basically a, a a book about Hitler and Stalin comparing their genocides. It was for a, a class I'm taking on uh, modern Germany. Anyway, Vilnius area is where there's a big massacre, so I recognize that city, that area. Anyway, let's make some spearmen. We're going to get some troops here. I'm going to make a second army. Drusina or Boyar Sons? We'll go with Drusina. And yeah, we'll get some spearmen. Actually, I'm going to wait one turn. And one the turn. Well, that post sucks to be you. Okay, so now we're going to recruit them because we'll have the armor. Okay, what's going on? War declared between Portugal and Spain. Leather Tanner, we have a port up here. These guys could use a port. They're growing pretty fast, though. It's all about that trade. So they're gonna keep making troops for me. If it is a fight you wish, an honor to serve, my lord. Honor and courage, soldiers. We wow, this is our war. prince. Ah! So did a night battle. Cut Death off the reinforcements. Made us victorious. We praise I generally like to occupy castles. Victory. So I generally like to occupy the castles in order to um in order to keep the people alive, because I'm going to be basically making a lot of troops from this. Or so, I think. Got a garrison quarter going here. Still have a good castle. Let's attack these troops. God be with us, men. We march to battle. Strength and, and they can just back off. The That's okay. <laughs> oh, a French merchant. Oh yes, I gotta be keep moving my merchant around. Can I help, my lord? Wish you could see your trade agreements. I've talked with the French. Let's head down. I cannot reach that place, my lord. Have I talked to this guy? Is there something no. I can do for you, noble lord? I see no. It would seem you are very reasonable. Oh yes, I am. Farewell. I cannot reach that place, my lord. Let's get in the princess's way I cannot so we can try to talk place, to Spanish. Okay, Riga's doing okay. I like the spy. I want to put him around this area. And my spy's kind of watching Krakow. Yeah. I think I'm going to run in the Danes, too. I'm going to have to take them out, I think. We should be really focused on Hungary. Yes. Move out. Anyway, I want to get this guy. Men, I'm gonna try to build march. some watchtowers. We the open step is, is yes. not good. Establishing a watch post. Especially when we're at war, I don't want to. Especially like this whole area here. Lord. I know I don't have this territory yet, which I will with the army I'm building here, but it's kind of important. Okay, I. Yes, Lord. Make there you go. Camp here, Lord. We go no further this day, my lord. Okay, ending another turn. I hope Portugal actually like it. No, Poland actually attacks me. If it is a fight you wish, come, God come on, be with Captain. us, man. We march to battle. Faith Ooh, and courage have that. made us victorious. It's a bunch of missile archers. Confronting the enemy honorably, my lord. Now, the reason I ought to resolve that... God has delivered us up to victory! A 
an honor to serve. One sec. Orders, my king. Yes, my king. Split Especially the speech. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Now, the reason I gotta resolve that is because I don't have anything to fight these kind of archers. You know, just be me chasing the enemy. I'm gonna grab some peasant archers here. And Ivan's going here. Men, march. Orders, my lord. Of course. And another watchtower. Establishing a watchtower. I'm gonna put one like right here. You can see we're developing this area quite nicely. We move onward tomorrow. And it looks like we have some faction. Those are rebels. I know there's a lot of other scattered provinces out there, but I'm okay to kind of hold this this area and really focus on the southern area. Poland hates me. Leather Tanner. Oh, these repaired Kiev, Riga. Did that Leather Tanner do anything for these guys? I don't see any kind of shield. Upgrade. Oh well. Okay, I'm losing money. Darn it. Too much military and not enough. I need this city. Now I'm definitely going to convert into a town. Yes, Lord. So what I could do... Yes. I could disband these units. That way, it's only garrison units. That's why they're free upkeep. Yeah. That helps a little bit. I'm okay to go negative for a little while. I'm not too negative though, which is good. Okay, we have the archers now. Garrison quarter got constructed here. It's important to keep up trade. Denmark and Egypt, they must be going on a crusade. Because I believe uh, it was Cairo was the, the target of that crusade. See, now we're back up in the positives. That's good. Okay, we're going to leave these guys here. And I'm actually going to fight this. I want to use my archers to good effect. See, so yeah, we're definitely going to be beating up on Poland here and Hungary. I'm going to try to take out Poland first. Put a strong frontier in along the Holy Roman Empire. Possibly take out Denmark. Definitely push south into Hungary, maybe make an alliance. Maybe I'll make an alliance with the, uh, I thought I had more archers than this. <laughs> maybe I'll make an alliance with the Byzantine Empire. Okay, peasant archers probably suck. I find it kind of funny that they're all missile cab basically and a couple of these spear troops. I wonder where they're going. Oh, hill camping. Okay, that's... Sorry about that, I was just making sure that I didn't run out of memory. Come on, mouse. <laughs> if you hear that sound, it's my mouse that's kind of like... dying. So let's push these guys. So I'm going to move my cavalry here. That's quite annoying. I can, this kind of mouse disconnecting thing can get you killed in a, if you're playing online. These guys do have javelins. No 
wolves are gonna run away. What do we find? Like near the uh oh, what's it called? It's like that's I can't remember, but it looks like Stone Stonehenge, that's right. Stonehenge. This is why I'd hate fighting like the Mongols or somebody like that. They want a war, let it begin here. We're actually at war. guys. <laughs> oh, we're gonna push these guys right to the border. These guys are screwed. Wow, they're gonna ride with 57 men. Wow, these woodsmen actually caught these guys. They're gonna die, but they actually caught them. But they're gonna hold these guys long enough for my cavalry to get in there. And we're picking these guys down. We have a lot of arrows coming in. Wooing down their numbers. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Are you kidding me? He... Life away, and perhaps our chances of victory with it. You have 27 men in your bodyguard left. Wow, I just got ripped off. 27 men, your bodyguard. And the, you die. Alright, news here, your bodyguard's not gonna survive this battle. So we lost our poor general. Okay, now they're ready for an assault. I'm gonna move in with the woodsmen. These guys are good. Dismount Polish nobles. Yeah, I'll just let them fight it out. Archers, I said focus on this unit. I have all these cab not doing anything. Okay, we'll charge down those guys. Go with the general's bodyguard. Basically, die here. Because they let poor. Can't even pronounce that. <laughs> they let him die. Yeah, let's see the prisoners rack up here. Chasing down those guys. These guys are having fun running around in a circle. And he's running away. They're really good at hunting down enemy units in this game. Look how our cowardly foe runs! It's time to press the attack! Charles' bodyguard still survived. 
Yeah, it's just important I kill as many of these guys as I can. We don't want them running around causing devastation. If a couple cav escape, it's not a big deal. I'm just making sure all the infantry's gone. You guys failed my general, and he was a young and promising general too. Should like execute these guys for failing to protect our general. Yep, just let them get away, guys. Okay, they got him. Nice, we basically wiped out their force, lost 189 men. Not bad, minus loss of our general. Okay, we'll get another general back. Wait, what's his loyal? Okay, he's decently loyal. Milan doesn't like me for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I should do on a blacksmith? I don't think so. That would take some more spearmen. Woodsmen aren't bad. Boyard sons are kind of okay, but I really need some Drazina. So, yeah, we're gonna end another turn here. Noble one, and we have some I'm gonna trade with you. Okay, General. Yes, establishing a watchpost. Move out. Yes, now we can kind of spy on the enemy. Of course. Okay, Kiev, we need to keep you expanding. We need to keep getting some more money. Let's get a grain exchange in the port for you. And probably to retrain your archer units and grab a third one. Okay, we now have this castle basically under control. I'm gonna upgrade that, obviously. Riga can't build anything, we're just waiting for them to expand. Let's get a ship right, let's just increase our tradable goods for our main city back there. And this army is more or less... I'm a little impatient right now, I don't really want to wait two more turns to attack, but I guess I can. Hunger doesn't like me, that's okay. So France and England are at war. Oh, Poland and Hungary are allies. That's great to hear. Yes, sire. Moving. And then I make a spy here. Let's let's come down to yes. see what Hungary has. No further today, my lord. So let's see. They also sire. have this little town. I'm wondering where their where their kind of territory ends because I can see Krakow and Thorn and then Breslau or something like that. No, I know I'm spending a lot of money, but let's end another turn. Definitely gonna go negative at next turn for our profits. It's because I was building stuff. The Holy Roman Empire hates me. Yes. I was reading, like, it's always fun to read Meta Critic reviews of, of games. And people were saying that in this game, people just hate you for no reason. <laughs> Like, whatever you do, it just pisses off people, and they all just attack you. So that's why I don't play on, like, ultra-hard difficulty setting or something. So it just gives them so many bonuses to to their morale, and you shouldn't just survive that long. So, if you're ever wondering, that's why. Yes, Lord. Okay, we're going to head back. Man. One more turn. We go no further this day, my Still Lord. can't retrain. I can... Mer oh. Yeah, I definitely want to retrain that unit. They have some experience. And that unit. And these guys can't train. Yeah. So we're kind of holding our territory right now, making some money. We can have a bride, and... So happy. We're just going to grab a boy, our son, and just go... At the end of this part, I want to take Vilnius. Or not take it, I want to actually besiege it so we can take it in the next turn. Good, Milan, the Holy Roman Empire at war. And this army is way too big. To be kind of sitting here. 
So I'm going to drive the cavalry and I'm going to head out. I'll obviously leave some troops to uh, protect it. But I want to hit Krakow. That's their, that's their capital. So what, what, what ideally I want to do is I'm just going to keep ending the turn. I'm making money. Stop this building. Ideally, I will make them fear you. this army is going to attack here. It's actually under siege by the Poles right now. I'm going to attack this. This army is going to move on, hit Thorn, while this army in the south hits Krakow. And then, yeah, they're not going to have... They do have some military, right? Ooh, it's a lot of spear troops. And I need, badly... <laughs> To get some better troops, like I need a, I need a real barracks to dismount Rosina, and that's that fortress. Let's see how far. Yeah, we're a, we're a ways off from getting a fortress. So we'll make a, a nice little uh, church building here. Same thing here. I want to make sure we are following our our religion here. Riga's kind of converting. These guys are converting quite quickly now. Good. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Cod from NT2 on signing off. See you in the next part. Leave some comments down below, some suggestions for diplomacy or any kind of things in this game.